Hello everybody, Anthony Gonzalez here, uh, responding to our first letter. Our first letter came into the office the other day. Uh, it's from a fourth grader in our district, Ava. Uh, so first of all, Ava, thank you for your interest. Thank you for being active. Uh, and hopefully the answer that we give you uh, is somewhat satisfying. So uh, without further ado, hello, my name is Ava. I am in fourth grade and I'm, a, and I'm homeschooled. Science and history are my favorite subjects and I love Native Americans. I'm also a huge animal lover. My dad and I were looking on the computer and I came across a law that you cannot possess, trade, or sell real eagle feathers. I very much understand that you desire to protect these endangered birds, as I do myself, but I do not see why it is illegal to own the plumage, as it is not hurting the animal or decreasing its numbers. I strongly disagree with poaching the species, and I am very glad that the law exists. It is also fortunate that nobody is allowed to take the eggs of a bald eagle. I have noticed eagle feathers at the lake and have seen nests and live birds as well. They are a beautiful part of wildlife and I want to keep them safe as much as possible and it would be terrible for them to go extinct. Please respond explaining why this part of the law about owning the plumage exists and maybe a way to alter it so people can pick up the bird feathers they find. Thank you for caring about our eagles. Sincerely, Ava. Uh, so Ava, this is a great letter, uh, first of all. Uh, you, you go through the issue, why you're so passionate about eagles, uh, and, and you understand why it might be illegal, but, but you hope it could change. So um, about 75 years ago, two laws were passed to do exactly what you described, to protect eagles uh, from going ex extinct. Now there are some modifications of the laws that allow Native Americans uh, to, to have eagle feathers. Um, and so there's two ways that we can make this legal. One would be to extend that protection beyond Native Americans, uh, but a second would be to make it legal to carry a non-commercial uh, amount of feathers. So uh, those are the two ways that we could legalize this for you. Uh, I hope this was helpful and thank you again for your letter.